It's announced Ange Postacoglu is heading to Tottenham. He might not be the manager that you want, but he might be the manager that you need. After having failures of from Jose, who's an experienced manager, showing that Daniel Levy wasn't backing him. After that, going to Nuno Espirito Santos and the managerial mess that you guys have been after Pochettino's left. In addition to Conte's most recent manager that you've had that has exited the pitch. But don't write him off so soon. I know his CV is something that everyone's looking at and they're saying to themselves, surely that we can get a better manager than this. But... He's shown that he can win not only with his clubs, but also with his country, uh, managing Australia and Celtic in addition to many other clubs. And the win now manager approach hasn't worked recently, so maybe going back to the Pochettino approach and getting an unknown name that can come in and galvanize the group and has more of an incentive to, uh, to do better could help. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already done so. Let's be honest, since Pochettino has left, you guys have gone away from your style of football, which has been the attractive style of football that Tottenham are known for. And that's what Postacoglu can bring back. Looking at any of these teams that he's played, he has played a more attractive style of football than both Conte and, uh, and what do you call it, um, um, Jose Mourinho. In addition to that, he does have that chip on his shoulder as being an uh, unproven guy in the, English in the English game and in European football. As his first job in, in European football was Celtic, he was at cast time success, stopping, uh, stopping Rangers from repeating another league title and get not only doing that, but getting a domestic treble in his most recent campaign. Uh, as an Arsenal fan, I am, I am kind of uh, concerned that, that you might be actually getting things right for once because this is a manager who will m most likely work in the confines and work with Levy more than rather the last two ma or three managers that you guys have had because there was moments where you could see Conte and Jose Mourinho were never going to work. I knew it was, it was never going to work from the beginning. And in addition to Con uh, those two managers always want more from their board, always ask for more, where Postacoglu might be willing to more or less work with him some people will say he's a puppet you don't want puppets but we don't know that yet i'm not gonna write him off as a rival and i don't think tottenham fans should write him off either this is not the person you wanted at the beginning of the at the beginning of the managerial search but this is the person you're gonna get and at the end of the day to dare is to kangaroo that's what i think and here's what my friend had to say he's a tottenham fan i'm gonna just post a, a clip from my most recent video where we spoke about him three months ago um i said that Ange was my number one choice. Like before, like Nagelsmann and Slot and everything. I, 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 in fact, I can find the, I'll find the tweet for you. Uh, so it's like, um, for me, I like Ange as a choice because for a number of reasons. Um, in terms of Spurs, what they want to do is reported that Spurs are moving into a more data-driven transfer approach. So they're almost going to run a bit more like a Brentford, a bit more like a Brighton in terms of how they do their transfers. Um, so, obviously, you need a manager that can work with that. You're also trying to bring in a manager who can play attacking football, uh, progressive football, um, who's got a big personality, um, can bring the club together. So, when you sp there's not a huge number of choices taking that into account. And for me, managers at the moment, there's a state of flux. So a lot of the big name managers that we've had over the last few years are coming to the end of their career, finishing off their careers. So it's like a new era of managers. So it's almost like, that to me, there's a certain degree of risk for any manager that a top six club takes now. Like moving forward now, if you're a top six club and you hire a manager, then there's going to be a risk factor. Arsenal appointed Arteta, who, who didn't, have any experience. United appointed Ten Hag that hadn't managed outside of um, Holland. You know, um, Ch Chelsea have appointed Poch, um, sacked at Spurs, didn't really do amazing at PSG. Do you see what I mean? So every manager that, that, that there is at the moment has risk. So for me, I personally in 2023, and this might be a, a controversial one, um, I, I prefer him to Poch. As in, like, I, I much prefer having a manager like Postacoglu to Poch because it reminded me a little bit of Arteta when Arteta went to Arsenal and, and we had, like, Conte. I was looking at some of the stuff that our Arsenal were doing and I was disregarding it just because we had the name manager. Do you know what I mean? It was like, I see what they're doing, but because we've got Conte, everything will be fine. So it's almost like tactically... And positionally and 
and uh, from a team growth wise point of view, I think that um, Spurs, you know, like it'll be very interesting to see. A little bit of experience. I'm not going to lie. Looking at his experience for the first time, I'm like, surely not. Tottenham's going to go for a bigger name than this. But this is probably what Tottenham need. I really do think this is what they need. They need a, un a, a relatively unproven manager who has who has a good track record of doing well and building uh, and performing well with their teams and overperforming with teams. And hopefully, even though he doesn't have a, a history in European football, he can maybe translate his experience and work at Tottenham. This is similar to, I would put this, maybe some of you guys would this, say it's a this to Pochettino, but I think this is a similar type of signing to Pochettino maybe. Yeah. I For me, I, I said this a couple of weeks ago about Spurs. I think what they should do is start again, as in sell Harry Kane, sell Human Son, sell all the big, all the big and older players and start again. Because at this moment, this whole team is at a, a crossroad. Like it's not, but Postacoglu, like, yeah, he's an okay manager, but his when he even his his caliber, the caliber of manager and a club like Tottenham is they should be going on and try and find better man. <laughs> I'd, I Spurs is Spurs is a very confusing club to me, and I I do feel like um, they need to revamp this club in terms of what they need to go do going forward. I do think Harry Kane question mark has been asked so many times, and now we have the manager situation that's been looming all, over this club for so long as well. And it's an interesting appointment. It's not one I anticipated nor expected based on the managers available as well. And But maybe he might be a surprise. Who knows? But at, at this point in time, I kind of take what managers have done in the Scottish League quite... I take it with a pinch of salt, if I'm honest, just simply because I do think that there was managers that we all know of that have been there and done really well, but then couldn't translate it over into this league. And when it comes to Spurs as a club, I do think... What they need to do is probably part ways with uh, Harry Kane and start actually looking at what the next five years is going to look like. Personally, that would have meant then I would go after a manager that I can build with and a manager that realizes what that actually entails. But instead, what we've done is now maybe paper over the cracks with a manager that obviously has done what he's done at Celtic. And we don't really know how long he's going to necessarily last at Spurs and what Spurs' game plan is going forward. So I, I do think it's an underwhelming appointment. I understand, obviously, with the point that the brother just before me made in terms of they've tried the big managers and they've not worked out. But they've not worked out because Spurs Football Club have bottlenecked those managers, not because those managers just bottlenecked themselves. I do think... Uh, I do think with Mourinho, Mourinho was a manager that we all knew what type of manager he was. He's someone that could get a lot out of little, but also he's someone that deserves some sort of backing because of, you know, we know what his stature is as a, as a football manager. With Conte, hate him or, or love him, the way I kind of look at it, he's a proven winner. But I've always said, don't bother hiring him if you're not going to back his type of ideas. So you've wasted time with Conte only to end up at this guy now. For me, Spurs have been in a limbo for so long, it doesn't make any sense. Poch Since they fired Pochettino, I don't think this, this club has taken a step forward. If anything, they've taken steps backwards to show that, unfortunately, it was Pochettino that actually made them relevant, and can it's we why also, they were... Can we wow, also remember that, that is... That right, is right, you know, so, 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 Iga, listen, I've got to... have to address got, that, yeah. I've got to jump in here, because I've listened go to... For it, go, both, for it, go for it, go for it. Both of these points, right? <laughs> One... Yeah, I don't think most of you actually know enough about Ange to be talking about Ange's appointment because you just don't know enough about the manager. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're a Tottenham fan or or rival fan watching this video for the first time, do hit that uh, subscribe button. During the whole transfer window, I'll be bringing you transfer videos just like this. And if you want to check out my most recent one for Alexis McAllister, it's right here. And if you want to see my interview with Kevin Campbell, it's right here. And subscribe if you're new. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.